Jubilee Year of the Real Presence, Jubilee of the Holy Eucharist. Hello, everyone. For the first time in a long while, we have good news from our Catholic Church. Not from Rome, though. It was reported by CNA on April 19, 2021, that the Bishop of Allentown, Pennsylvania, has proclaimed a Jubilee year to promote a greater dedication to the Holy Eucharist as the real presence of Christ. Bishop Alfred Schlert declared a year of the real presence, which is beginning on Divine Mercy Sunday, April 11, and ending in June 19, 2022, the Solemnity of Corpus Christi. The Jubilee is made to coincide with the 60th anniversary of the establishment of the diocese. During the Jubilee year, Catholics in the diocese can obtain a partial indulgence by taking part in any of the Jubilee events, especially the opening Mass for Divine Mercy Sunday and the closing Eucharistic procession and benediction. An indulgence is the remission of the temporal punishment due to sins which have already been forgiven. It may be applied to oneself or to a soul in purgatory. Schler's decrees clarify that those who are sick, elderly, or unable to leave their homes may still obtain the indulgence if they spiritually unite themselves to the event taking place and they offer their praise and sufferings to God. A 2019-2019 Pew Research study found that just 31% of U.S. Catholics believe that the bread and wine consecrated in the Eucharist become the body and blood of Jesus, that being fundamental teaching of our Catholic faith, which is known as the real presence. The findings of that survey have prompted calls for better catechesis and formation of Catholics in the country. Bishop Schlert said he was under the obligation as a bishop to foster greater devotion to the sacraments, especially the Eucharist, to help the faithful maintain their Christian vocations so that they may know more fully and live out the Paschal mystery of Christ by leading lives of holiness, promoting the growth of the Church, and contributing to the sanctification of the world. He invited all Catholics in the diocese to reflect on the Last Supper, when Christ instituted the Eucharist. He said the bread and wine which become the body and blood of Christ, are a promise of God's love for his people. Because this mystery of faith was mandated by Christ to be carried out by the apostles and their successors until he returns. The holy sacrifice of the Mass is the unbloody sacrifice of the cross, perpetuated down throughout the ages, he said. When a priest, acting in the person of Christ, the head, offers this sacred oblation, all of the faithful are invited to proceed to the sacred banquet in which Christ is truly received. Having been illuminated by sacred scripture, the churches led to the altar of sacrifice where the bread of angels the bread of heaven, the most precious blood, and the medicine of immortality is adored and received as our minds are filled with grace and we are given a pledge of future glory. Comments This is wonderful news for our Catholic faith. Even the times of apostasy in which we are living, Godless Bishop Albert Schlert for such an initiative. Christ is truly present in the sacraments of the Church. 
let us have a brief explanation of the seven sacraments. In baptism, we are clothed with the light of Christ and enter into his mystical body, becoming children of God. In the sacrament of reconciliation, we encounter Christ veiled in the person of the priest, to whom we confess our sins. Jesus is truly present, blessing the absolution we receive from the priest. In the sacrament of the Holy Eucharist, Christ comes to the altar at the moment when the priest does the consecration, and the bread and the wine are raised in adoration. As when Christ died on the cross, John 12, verse 32, And I, when I am lifted up from the earth, will draw all people to myself. In the sacrament of confirmation, a baptized person is confirmed in the faith to receive the fullness of the gifts of the Holy Spirit. In the sacrament of matrimony, God unites a man and a woman to become one flesh and blesses that unity as a family. In the anointing of the sick, God is present bringing relief to the sick and in some cases preparing them for their trip into eternity. In the sacrament of holy orders, a man enters the church as deacon, priest, or bishop. Priests are ordained and anointed in the apostolic tradition to perform all the sacraments, including bringing Jesus to the altar in the real presence of the Holy Eucharist. Prayer to the Real Presence O Sacrament Most Holy, O Sacrament Divine, Precious Body, Blood, Soul, and Divinity of Jesus Christ, Living Bread, come down from heaven to my heart. Holy Wounds, Precious Blood, Water, Sorrows, Tears, and Anguishes of Jesus and Mary, Emmanuel, God with us, Jesus, Eucharist, Heavenly Delicacy, given to us by the Blessed Virgin Mary, conceived without sin. O love, praise, thanksgiving, adoration, blessing, honor, power, kingdom, majesty, and glory be yours at all times. Amen. If you like this video, please give us a like. Subscribe to our channel, The Work of God. Share on social networks and don't forget to leave your valuable comments. Could you please tell us how important is it to you, the Holy Eucharist? Can you see God truly present in this sacrament? God bless you.